Hi, this is Frankie. Welcome to a video tutorial on how to use Wax 2.0 to achieve the chroma key effect. First thing I'm going to do is go to the D drive, look for this folder called chroma key effect, click on it. And I'm just going to show you a simple clip. This is this is uh, Sam, uh, UEL student. Okay, so normal video. And now if I show you uh, this video, you can see what we're trying to do here. What essentially we've done is we have removed the background so that uh, it looks as though we have superimposed one video or one image on top of another image. Okay, so how, how do we do this? I'm going to show you how we can do that. First of all, we need to install this program called WAX 2.0. It's already it already has been installed so I'm just gonna close the installation and after that you must install this FFD show program okay again that already has been installed so now that the the, the two programs have been installed we're gonna run uh, wax by going to debug mode and look for wax 2.0 here we go so that's wax 2.0 go to project add media files and uh, we will start to look for the videos in the D drive chroma key effect Sam waving okay next is we drag click and drag the uh, video file down including the sound file right Okay. Next is uh, let's put a background behind. So again, go to project at media files, and we can look for one of the files over here. Let's go for sunset. Okay. In fact, let's go for blue hills, something different. And then again, we drag that down to here, and we just make the image a duration longer. Now instead of putting an image here we could also have put a, another video so that you can have a video playing at the background okay so just a short uh, slightly more than 10 seconds background there and uh, let's just reduce this a little bit more let's reduce the video clip as well as the audio now don't worry if you can't hear any audio because in this program for some strange reason I can't get audio to play it's okay Next, we go for video plugins and we look for color chroma key. Here we go. Okay, now click on that and then click and drag the chroma key down to Sam Weaving AVI file. Okay, there we go. Now that this is done, select the chroma key. There we go. And uh, we're going to select a color. There are two things to take note, the color and the tolerance. So first of all, let's click on the eyedropper and select this color over here. Aha! Now you see some of the background already became invisible and you can see the blue uh, image behind it. Let's increase the tolerance and there you go. So the more I increase the tolerance, the less of uh, Sam I will see. He literally will disappear. And let me just put him back. Okay and almost there so what should we do next next is we go to project and then we will render settings to project settings you go for separate audio and video and then under options uh, choose choose FFD show video codec yes that's what we need to do first now let's try rendering again this time it works it's going to create two files, a video.avi file as well as an audio.avi file. It's finished. Rendering over. Okay, there's a little problem with the audio, but don't worry about that. Now let's uh, check out the let's check out the uh, the video file itself. The video file will be found in the D drive. Here we go. This is it. Th today is the. Now, if I were to play the video, you can see that 
it actually works yeah you see that okay so what does this mean well what this means is that we can actually put uh, a video at the back